Lighters up, Taurus. It's your girl, the Stoner Girl Tarot. Back with another video. If you haven't already, roll up with me, light up with me. Drop down in the comments. Let me know what you're smoking on. And if you don't smoke, no worries. You're still more than welcome. I missed you. I really did. Feels good to be back. I hope you're doing well. I hope you are safe. Taurus, this is for the collective under the sign of Taurus. This is also for the cross watcher. All right. This is not a personal reading. It's a collective reading. So take whatever applies and let the rest fly. All right. Bottom of the deck, we have five of cups. Someone could be feeling sad or remorseful or, you know, a little regretful. Hurt feelings here. So let's get started. I'm going to put this out so I can get to work. But keep the party going. Keep the party going. Taurus, this is the current energy between you and your partner or your person, the person that you're thinking about. And um, this is for the cross watcher as well. I can't remember if I said that, you know, because I'm high. All right. If that's not already obvious. So um, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified of my next video. So Taurus. The recent past, we have the Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior Energy. Okay. Um, this is like... Some of you, I feel like you really don't know what to do. You don't know if you should move forward or if you should let the person come to you. For some of you, I feel like you may have said or said something. You feel like maybe you put your foot in your mouth. Maybe you are having some regrets over something that you said or, you know, um, not that something that you said was hurtful or rude. But maybe you wish that you did not have, maybe you wish you wouldn't have said it like that. Or maybe you said something with totally good intentions, but maybe you feel like, or the person you said it to took it the wrong way, or, you know, it was that I didn't mean for you to take it like that kind of thing. Leo energy here with the sun. Um, this is someone, you know, that you had romantic feelings towards, but this is also someone that you wanted at least, you know, a shot at. This is someone that you had good feelings towards. I'll clarify that in a minute. Ten of Wands, you may feel stressed about this situation so much to the point where you feel like you need to just lay it down like... Um, for a lot of you Tauruses, I feel like you got a lot going on right now. And this is something that even though you may care about this person, you may care about, you know, how this person views you, how this person sees you. You're going to have to put this on the back burner for right now. And so you're just going to have to put this issue down. You know, you got to stop worrying about worrying about it for right now. Clarifying the sun card. The King of Swords in reverse. So this is air energy. You could be dealing with a uh, Gemini. But this is in reverse. Um, someone could feel manipulated by you. Or you could feel manipulated by your person. You could be dealing with a Leo if I didn't already say that. Maybe someone feels like you let them on. This could be a situation, Taurus, where you felt like it was harmless flirting. Remember where, where I was saying like you could have said something and you didn't mean for them to take it the way that they did. 
And so someone could have accused you of leading them on, flirting with them. And you could be like, no, I mean, I was just being nice or, you know, I didn't mean for you to take it that way. And they took it that way. And so someone could be accusing you of being manipulative, of being, you know, maybe you're accusing someone of doing that to you. Current energy between you and your person. Two of Wands. There could be something preventing you from moving forward, from taking action towards this person. Vice versa. Nine of Pentacles. Someone is working hard. Um, this could be you or your person. Like I said before, Taurus, you, I have this energy that you got a lot of going on. And so the person that you're dealing with or the situation isn't a priority right now. I feel like, especially, you know, you're working on something, things are going good. The fact that you are, you, maybe you're not even talking to them right now. They could be taking offense to that because I feel like there is unfinished business here, Taurus. And it's not that you don't care about them or their feelings. You just got a lot going on right now. Page of Pentacles. You may even want to reach out or maybe they want to reach out to you and maybe you will. Clarifying the page of Pentacles is the tower. Um, could be dealing with a Scorpio. Because it's underneath the Ten of Wands in reverse, I feel that you're going to be, I feel, basically, I feel that the person that you're dealing with is going to reach out to you and it's going to take you by surprise by what they say to you or what they tell you. And you're so busy working on whatever it is that you're working on, Taurus. Maybe you don't realize that it's been a few weeks or a month that has gone by. And you haven't talked to this person. And they may be like, hey, you know, what's up? Oh, it's like that. Like, you haven't talked to me. Oh, you ghosted me? Like, what's up with that? Like, why haven't you talked to me? It may be something simple like that, but it's going to catch you off guard. It's going to it's going to surprise you, Taurus. How does your person feel about you, Taurus? They feel like they're an option. They feel like you're they're an option. Yeah, they feel here's another option card, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. They don't feel any stability. Um, and if they feel that they're an option, they feel like they're one of the options that's at the bottom. They feel like. They want to make a return and they're hoping that you'll return to them, that they'll hear from you soon. What's this Ten of Pentacles in reverse about? They're hoping that you can reunite, reunite. They're hoping that this will have a happy ending. And that's why they're going to reach out to you. And that's why they're hoping 
that you'll reach out to them. I don't think that you're going to reach out to them before they reach out to you. And I don't even think that it's not that you don't want to talk to them towards. I just think that you're busy because look at all these good things that you got going on right now. And it may not even be that, you know, you're physically working on something. Things may just be going good for you. OK. Especially, you know, astrologically with the um, if you know anything about astrology, the North Node is in Taurus right now. So a lot of you like your ships have come in like you are getting like a lot of luck right now. So money is coming in. Maybe some of you are planning vacations, just enjoying your life right now. You know, just breathing a sigh of relief, you know, taking care of business. And I don't think it's anything personal on your end. How do you feel about this person? That's the question. Um, five of swords in reverse. Did this person do something malicious to you? Do you feel that they said something malicious? They said some slick shit. They did some slick shit. Maybe because you were not giving them what they wanted at the time. Because again, you've been busy. You've been taking care of business. Drama, five of wands. Maybe they're just too much drama and you can't deal with it right now. Ten of wands in reverse. It's just too much for you right now. Take this how it resonates. Okay. Four of Pentacles in reverse. You want to let it go. And maybe that's why, you know, I don't even feel like you have any hard feelings for this person. I just feel like you're like, nah, I'm good. I'm good on you right now. And I think that's why you're going to be surprised when this person just contacts you out the blue trying to make an offer. And I really don't think that you're interested in it because it looks like they said some slick shit. They did some slick shit. And you're like, you're too much drama for me. Let me write that down before I forget. <laughs> Yeah, they're too much drama. And because you're a Taurus, you don't like stuff like that. Like you don't want anyone in your aura like that. You don't like y'all don't do well. Like y'all like y'all don't like surprises. You want someone who's pretty much the same, even level, even temperament. Like, y'all don't want someone with all these mood swings and shit. So the outcome right now is like stagnant. It ain't going anywhere with the world card in reverse. This is your energy, fixed energy. And I think this is pretty much how you want it, okay? King of Cups, you're looking at or your person could even be looking at you as being the emotional unstable one but i think taurus you're looking at your person as being emotionally unstable and you're cool with it justice you know karma um you're you've weighed the pros and the cons and you're good with it <clears throat> so now i'm going to draw a crystal oracle card for you taurus Okay, to see, especially if you're into crystals, um, what crystal is good for you? Selenite. And this is selenite right here. Okay, selenite. Selenite is good from keeping like negative energy away from you. So your body houses seven centers of energy known as the chakras. You need an open channel along your spine from crown to root 
for these centers to pass energy to one another and to communicate with each other, your higher self and with spirit. This card comes to you as a sign that it is time to detoxify your precious and perfect being beneath the luminous lights of the universe in order to more deeply accelerate into expansion and clear yourself of useless lower vibes okay selenite serves as your vehicle to clarified balanced energy and also with this like she's peaceful she's in her garden she's like and a lot of you are in this space of you just trying to like be at peace like you don't want any drama you don't want this and i feel for a lot of you whoever this is in your energy even if they don't mean to like this person probably really likes you but in your mind you feel like they are going to create unnecessary drama that you don't need right now okay taurus so that is your reading all right leave me a comment let me know if this resonates and i will see you later bye